So without any further ado, for Neural Communicator Team TZFR from Serbia. <laughs> Hello, I'm Milan Kojedinović from TFZR team, and these are my teammates, Vanja Zavišin, Zlatibor Veljković, and Goran Nikovic, with our mentor, Dan Latsmanović. For this year's Imagine Cup, we worked on a project called Neural Communicator. It is an application that enables communication for people that cannot communicate because of their disabilities. It gives speech alternative, communication through SMS, and Windows Live Messenger chat. Neural Communicator has some extra features, like book reader plugin and web browsing plugins. Our application is controlled by using brain-computer interface devices, which are also known as mind readers. Why make a communicator? What does communication mean to humankind? If there was no communication today, the world would be a different place. Communication plays a big role in civilization and development of humankind. By communicating with each other, humans develop relationships and exchange knowledge. Our neural communicator targets individuals with extreme physical disabilities that disable them from communicating. For example, a person that is paralyzed and suffered an injury of Broca's area. It is an area of a brain that is in charge of speech. In this case, motor and speech abilities are affected and disabled individual cannot communicate by speaking or using modern communication technologies. Beside injury, this can be caused by vascular accident, degenerative processes, inflammatory processes, as well as cancer. Our neural communicator solves a problem that disabled individual deals with. Since voice recognition and standard input methods cannot be used by disabled individuals, we decided to use brain-computer interface devices. How does it work? The brain-computer interface devices use electrodes that detect brain waves, which are used as actions for computer input. The brain waves are related to thoughts and mental state of a user. The one that we used detects eye movement, jaw muscle contractions, as well as alpha and beta brain waves. Our biggest challenge was to design an application that is simple and accessible. We wanted, uh, while researching and talking with experts in the field of neurology, we were told that disabled individuals might not be able to use all the actions that BCI offers. As a result of that, our application had to be specially adapted for patients' severity of condition. The application is designed in such a way that it can be controlled by just one action or more. For any number of actions, the user interface is specially adapted for fast and convenient <coughs> control. And now, Vanya and Zlatibor will demonstrate to you our solution. Hello. Now we will begin our demonstration of our software. But first, I will need to guide you through a short tutorial because we use alternate input mechanism. This is our main menu. It has three columns and two rows. Number of columns is three because one can accurately send up to three actions using this brain-computer interface device. He uses his eye movement and jaw muscle contractions that are detected in two steps to control the application. Each of his actions is mapped to a corresponding column. His eye movement is mapped to a first column, his weak jaw muscle contraction is mapped to a second column, and his strong jaw muscle contraction is mapped to a third column. There are two rows, and one row is constantly highlighted. The highlight changes or alternates between the rows on the exact time interval that is defined in the configuration application file. When one makes a valid gesture, it activates a cell in the corresponding column of currently highlighted row. If in, that call, uh, if in that cell there are two or more menu items, they are distributed into other cells so that he can choose which one he wanted to activate. Now we will begin with our speech feature. This feature enables uh, users to communicate with their surroundings. This is the text input menu where Vanya can select characters to be spoken. When he selects a character, it is added to the text box under the status bar. By using our text input solution, Vanya can select any character by using only two actions. One for selecting a group of six, uh, group of six letters, and one for selecting a letter he wanted. Now, 
One will use a speak function to activate speech model to uh, synthesize Hello. the enter text. Hello. As you can hear, speech synthesis is possible. This is good for communication with of handicapped people with their surroundings. But these patients are, aren't constantly looked over, so they need to a way to communicate with their doctors or caretakers in the time of need. For that reason, we made a GSM model, which enables them to send SMS message directly to the fo mobile phone of their caretaker or doctor. Now, Vanya will choose the right SMS feature and select Goran as the recipient of the message. He will use quick list, a quick text, that is uh, defined in the application configuration file. So he can enter, I need assistance in very few steps. When he activates the send function, you can see in the status bar that it is highlighted blue, so to indicate that the sending is in the pro process. SMS sent. Voice also informed the user that the SMS message was sent, and Goran will soon receive the message. He just received the message. He received, but you didn't hear. Now, Goran will reply back to Vanya, and then the uh, application detects there is, there is unread message on the mobile phone. It will inform the user again with the status bar item that there is a certain number of unread messages. One, you can then list unread messages. You can see oh, we are already received it. And one, you can uh, select his message. OK. Oh, for, for convenience, there is a reply button so they can continue their conversation. Now, um, this is good for communication of patients with their doctors, caretakers. But why stop our communication there? Why not enable handicapped people to talk with their friends, colleagues, and family? We implemented Windows Live Messenger uh, service into our application so they can co contact any uh, their contacts online via Windows Live Messenger service. This is our chat model, where Vanya can select, will select Milan as the recipient of the message. The green border around menu item uh, is showing his status, that he is available. Their away status is red or busy is orange. Now, when he activates send function, Milan will receive the message, and he can use his Windows Live message service on his desktop to reply to the Vanya. So you can see that it's possible to communicate over the internet with their friends, families, and colleagues. Uh, users also request that we implement some book reading functionality that will entertain them. We implemented that book reader as a book reader model, the, which utilizes XML web services to download a list of books that is the, uh, stored on the remote web server. So user can uh, select a book from by author, by a genre, or just select from the name, name book from the list of books. Vanya has already selected a book, and he has convenient uh, options to start May from the beginning. To continue, in, he has options for navigating between, between chapters and paragraphs. Currently, red paragraph is highlighted blue. And if user has problems with reading long lines, he can set a uh, book reader width at the configuration file along with the font size of the text. Every user we spoke to, person with handicaps we spoke to, wanted us to have some web browsing functionality built in. I must remind you that our application is controlled with just one action or more, depending on the user's uh, handicap. So can you imagine a user browsing any website with just one action? Well, we can. We made a specific plugin, browser plugin, that has basic functionalities for uh, surfing almost any website. Those functionalities are favorites, Previous element, next element, scroll down, scroll up, back and forward navigation, enter text to activate text input, and select element along with the go to specific web address. Browsing a uh, website this way is slow and tedious. We needed something more. We needed to add accessibility features to sites that doesn't have accessibility, that are not built with accessibility in mind. So we made our web browser plugin host its own plugins. Uh, slide back. He host his own plugins that enable accessibility functionalities for the websites. We made three such plugins. We made a plugin for Bing.com, Bing Maps, and Facebook. 
Now I will show you how our Facebook uh, plugin works. As you can see, there is a login action button there that will automatically log in Vanya to his Facebook account. He activated it and uh, he's presented to the home page. Now, we want to show you that the user can communicate via Facebook by sending messages to his friends. He will activate from the Facebook menu group. He will activate um, if one makes a mistake. He needs to wait for three time intervals to be brought to the upper level menu, like he did one. So he did now. From the Facebook menu group, he will select messages page. This, uh, all buttons are imported in out of, into our application by plugin architecture and plugin specifically for designed for Facebook. Now, in, he has a message list action button that will enable him to select message from the list of messages. He also, now when he's on the message page, page has a reply action. We want to show you how quickly he can uh, handicap person change his status on the Facebook. To do that, he needs to go activate profile page, and on the profile page, he now has set status item. When Vanya chosen the set status item, the status text box was uh, focused, so it can receive um, text input from our application. Vanya will now select a set his status and activate the finish button, which will update his Facebook status. As you can see, uh, we showed you how our application handle functionality of browsing normal websites like Facebook. But we wanted more. We wanted to show you how to we user can operate a rich multimedia applications like Bing Maps. Here, one can use be, choose between road view or aerial view. He can zoom in the camera or pan the camera. <laughs> While he's doing that, I want to explain you that. When uh, all these web browser plugins are stored on a remote web server, and when Vanya makes a request to a, for a certain web page, he also sends a request to an XML web service, which uh, then gives him the list of new or updated plugins for that specific site he's viewing. When that happens, we intentionally removed Bing.com plugin from our plugin cache. So we now have download plugin, action button, and users inform with the status bar plugin available. When Vanya activates a download plugin, it will automatically be downloaded into our application and loaded so user can use its functions right away. In the Bing.com, Vanya can choose between search web and search images function. So Vanya will now search a query for the images where he could browse between images. Actually, he has action items for next image, previous item, or he can view the image in the full screen. Right now, we are taken to the results page, and here are the actions that are available on that page. With this, I will conclude our demonstration. Come. Hello. Uh, during development of our application, we presented Neural Communicator at Neurology Institute at Clinical Center of Serbia. Uh, the feedback we received helped us in developing application for the patient's special needs. Neural communicator could be used for social, physical, and psychological rehabilitation as well as education of individuals with disabilities. By using our solution, uh, clinical depression is reduced, uh, which leads to an improvement of overall health, care of health condition of patients. Cost of patient health care is also reduced and, uh, by making health care system more efficient. Healthcare uh, workers and neurologists uh, learned very well uh, how it's controlled and how it, uh, how it works. So they could very easily explain to patients how application is operated. Uh, 